Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel here for Hack 5 at Showstoppers 2013 at CES with the founder and CEO of Ubico to talk about this little itty bitty device that looks like a USB drive, but it's not exactly. What, what are we talking about here when, when we see this little YubiKey? Uh, this is a secure login token for um, providing strong two-factor authentication. We all know that passwords are no longer secure and this one generates a one-time password. So every time you log in with this, you generate a code that no one can hack because it can only be used once. And, and how long is this? This is not something that I could memorize myself, which is why this guy is in place. Uh, no, it's a 44-character encrypted code that has really, you can't use it outside the system. So can we see how it works real quick? Yeah, so it has both a USB connection and an NFC. And this is the YubiKey Neo that has NFC. You tap it on the back on the phone, and the phone then opens an application. In this case, it's a LastPass a password manager, which will allow you to log in securely to your entire internet in a single touch. So it, it, it sends the identity in a one-time passcode through the NFC interface. You can also use it with the USB port for a computer to log in to you know, on a Mac or a PC or on a tablet. And um, the YubiKey Neo has been developed with leading cloud services. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose the names yet, but they came with the requirements. They said they, lo they love the YubiKey, but in order to have this to scale to billions of users, you don't want one database to be hacked, like happened to RSA. You know, one-time password technologies are today dependent on one server that can be hacked. So we've developed, in the YubiKey Neo, there's asymmetric encryption. It means that there, you're not dependent on one single database for the encryption keys. Uh, and you can develop a, a really secure s solution that can scale to a lot of users and without the risk of being hacked. Now, is it different every single time? Just like I'm a lay, I'm a lay woman, if you will. Is it different every single time when you when you swipe it, or how does that exactly work? Like, just walk me through it, if you will. So every time I tap it to my phone, it, it generates a one-time passcode, and every time I put a it one? in the, I put it in my computer, it generates a one-time passcode. So yes, it's different every time, but I don't have to remember anything. I don't do anything. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So now, what exact what services can we expect to be available for that? I saw Gmail, I think, and so if you combine it with a password manager, you can use it with any service that has a username and password today. Uh, there are also um, we provide a open source um, we, open source components, so you can use it to um, use it with WordPress or Drupal or the range of open source software. You can also use it for your VPN. We have software for that. And so I think I saw it in use on one of your, uh, you have a tablet, you have a notebook, a MacBook Air, so you can use all that stuff. Yes. The vision and the goal for Yubico is to have your YubiKey to work, to log in to any services. Uh, I envision this to be to be offered on 7-Eleven or Safeway, like a prepaid phone card. You go and buy it and you tie it up to the range of services. And we're working on that, so it's gonna happen. For all things CES, tune into revision3.com. Thanks a lot. Ford wants to offer you the extra peace of mind every second you're on the road. So they integrated 911 Assist with GPS through sync. If the airbags deploy or the fuel pump shutoff is activated, 911 Assist will help connect your supported mobile phone to a 911 operator. It also gives emergency responders your exact location. Thanks again to Ford for powering this Hack 5 CES special.